is this appropriate place to, to work, to, 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 to uh, socialize. Even if you earn very little, a thousand dollars per month. Tell me why the general public should be the one to suffer when they become the unhappiness of the public servants. You have talked about, even though they do not cause the unhappiness, we are fighting for the public. We are not fighting against them. We are fighting for them as our 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 right our, 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 our rights is for them. We are saying that there has been something wrong with the injustice that is given to us. We are earning in this world. We are not having the right to space. How are we going to work? Not going to earn a living. As a matter of fact, we are giving up everything so we can fight for our cause. We also, this brings me to my first point that we have our interests to strike. We strike because not our self interest but the interests of the public. It's due to a great cause and not just a small, a minor problem. We're giving up everything, our livelihood, our pay, all just to go on strike to show that there's something wrong. We're also striking for fairness. As the proposition has said, power is not naturally shared between employers and employers. When negotiations fail, they don't always work. When mediations fail, then the only reason is to strike. They might shut you off. Hey, you don't have four or three people. But why are we going to give it to you? But no, when you have a mass number, you're giving the stating a clear point that there's something wrong. You have to handle this. I'll give you an example. As we said, the London, uh, the London management will end up. So there's a strike in Brazil recently over the billion spent on uh, increasing the fund of major sporting events. If these billions can be used for um, reducing the cost of living, for using it for healthcare and educational purposes, won't the government benefit from this? Over 2 million people went on strike against this motion and others over corruption, over embezzlement of money from the government. Don't you think these are points that need to be addressed? The response was almost immediate. A pledge by the president, Dilma Rousseff, to spend $15 million on the cost of living. If they have gone through mediation to that, would they have given this pledge? Would they have immediately responded to such a, a statement? Eventually, I'm telling you, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, that the pros of going on to strike outweighs the consequences, outweighs the inconvenience of being. Therefore, for all these reasons, Mr. Speaker, I'm very proud of the proposed solution. Confidentiality is ensured. 
So, these strikes are not always for the benefit of themselves. They benefit the public, the general public too. In 2013 of October, the teachers of Greek, they went on a strike. Why does the government pass the law for education without dialogue? To make the educational system more examination centered. So, these teachers, you know, they think this is not the way to do it. Even the director of the European Trade Union Committee of Education, Martin Loma, also supported the teachers. And you know, with such support. So, with such support, you know, they are not only doing it for themselves, if this strike works. And you know, and because of this, because of this law set by the Greek government, you no. Know, these students who have to go for private tuition, they will end up dropping out of school. Yes. Are you uploading? Are you uploading your attendance? Do you believe that uh, that teacher talks is not a win-win situation? You are not only employees, employees, employees as well. As I said. So, as our last question, there are two types of strike: violent and non-violent. Violent strike, yes, people should be punished for violent strikes. It is unacceptable in society. But for non-violent strikes, what is the deal? People are just doing, people are just stopping their jobs, you know, for the better of the people. So if this strike, one week, two week, but this strike works out for the people, and it, you know, look at it the long term. If it works out, wouldn't this benefit the society, the people, for decades to come? For one or two weeks, for the next few decades, wouldn't it be worth it to just go on this strike? so that people of the future will benefit more from it. So, to end off, I would like to put out a question for, for, for you ladies and gentlemen. Coming back to my first question, like, would criminalizing strikes really work? Do people care about it? Will they, you know, I don't think they will care about it because everything is on the line. I want you to think about it. Do you think, do you think just criminalizing it, finding them a resident, Will work. Our house def definitely doubts it, and I hope you too will doubt it. So, on this note, I very proudly, very gladly propose this motion. I thank the third opposition speaker for his speech. In a moment, we will move to the team's three minute reply speeches. The opposition will deliver their reply speech first. However, before the reply speeches, we will now have a two-minute break during which the speakers can confirm that the teammates need to make their two reserves members. 